We're going to get right to the very latest on those new warnings for the middle of the country. More tornadoes expected across the Midwest, all the way from Texas to Michigan. Those pictures are remarkable, Sam. I mean, and this is happening everywhere. Yeah, it will be by, by the weekend. We're looking into Saturday, Sunday, and we're going to even show you how it lasts into Monday. Amy, when you see things like this, we've had a very quiet tornado season. We've had so much cold air in place in the country. And so now we get those warmer temperatures. And here goes the tornado season. I do want to mention briefly that Granbury, uh, the National Weather Service, has been looking into this. These are preliminary reports. When you see something like this, this is the foundation of a house. And this isn't after someone came in and cleaned it up. This is right after the storm, the house taken off the foundation. So when you see something like this, and we saw it yesterday and we were talking in the office, this looks like the damage of an EF4. And indeed, the uh, Weather Service has said it probably is anywhere from 166 to 200 miles per hour. It's a devastating storm. They're talking about the dead or the bodies being found inside houses and outside, thrown outside houses. So it's just devastating the kind of damage. And a reminder to us that today, this is where the storms could light up in that area from Jackson to Memphis and Billings and Rapid City, two areas. But over the the weekend, we have a classic storm situation setting up in the middle of the country. This is what you would expect in Tornado Alley for May, but it's been so quiet that we need to remind people to stay up with their ABC stations so that you know when these storms move in the area. Saturday, as a cold front sits in the middle of the country, you've got that cold air clash with warm, humid air. The jet stream pulling up right through the center will build those storms even taller and higher, and that's what you need for very powerful thunderstorms and the possibility for tornadoes. Chicago, Kansas City, Oklahoma, you're all in line, Minneapolis even, but the time we get to Sunday and this kind of lingers in that part of the country from Monday to go back to some of those areas that were so damaged and devastated in the uh, past 24 hours. Our Steve Osinsami is in Claiborne, Texas right now with just heart heartbreaking pictures. Good morning, Steve. Good morning, Sam. The family that lives here says that someone was clearly watching over them. The roof was torn off, the house shaken up, the walls knocked down. It looks like someone put this home in a blender and hit mix. They made it out alive by hiding out in this bathroom back here. Police have surrounded this neighborhood because they say it's unsafe for families to be here. Oh my God. Look at it's right above us. Holy one tornado would have been painful enough, but this morning the National Weather Service confirms that there were 16 of them tearing through northern Texas Wednesday, including this EF4 monster with winds up to 200 miles an hour. I was screaming, oh my God, it, Crazy. It, it's over, you know, we're gone. From the sky, the aftermath is even more heartbreaking. This was Granbury, Texas before the disaster. Blocks of homes, many of them built by Habitat for Humanity for families in need. This morning, this is what's left. Piles of rubble, shattered walls, and shattered dreams. Oh my gosh! The door just like shaking, 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 shaking really bad. From the street, it's even more disheartening. Family cars tossed around like Hot Wheels. Windows exploded into flying daggers. And this morning, nearly 3,500 homes and businesses here are still without power. In Cleburne, weather officials now think it was an EF3 that cut a second path of destruction half a mile wide. Across this state, many of those who lost their homes now so thankful they didn't lose their lives. My cars are gone, my house is gone, but my children are here and we're okay. There was severe weather last night across much of Louisiana, but nothing like what happened here.